Hey and welcome to another tutorial uh, and today we're going to learn how to render a triangle so we will, we're going to start with uh, creating uh, three vertices and, uh, and I already created uh, basic uh, the ratex window you can see how to do it in my previous tutorial so let's start with creating uh, three vertices. In this tutorial I'm going to use position colored vertex, custom vertex. You can use whatever you like. So we are going to put it in an array and we will make three. Uh, you're probably asking why three because the uh, triangle is made from three vertices. Okay, cool. Now let's uh, just to render a triangle in a 3D world we have to uh, create a camera that uh, will look it's like your eyes the camera will be like uh, the eyes the your eyes is where it is looking so for a camera for uh, creating a camera we need um, to create a projection of the camera and the view the projection is actually um, holding the angle like uh, the angle of the view like 45 degrees um, I usually use it's a quarter of a, a pi so type a device dot transform dot projection equals matrix dot pers perspective for LH now the field of view you can uh, write uh, s 3 dot 40 and you can uh, write quarter of a pi like this this is how I do it now the escape ratio uh, it's write, uh, write like that the near plane and far plane uh, is like the distance where uh, the object will be drawn for example if it's a uh, Father than the near plane and m near, 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 and more closer to the and less, and, and his position is less and uh, is far near, so it w the object will be thrown. Now, the view is actually the actual camera, it contains the camera position from where it is looking and the camera uh, target it's where it's looking and the camera up vector uh, it's where the up of the camera you, uh, if you want a regular camera you put a 0 1 0 it's a one unit above the y the position that uh, the position is uh, 50 units behind the center of the board because uh, zero 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 in the x y and z is uh, the center of the world this is the center of the world this equals this okay it is a shortcut this is all the center of the world now we want to to cancel the light because uh, in this uh, in this tutorial I'm not going to teach you how to create a light so I will cancel it so uh, it will be one light for all that will uh, light all now and we want to cancel the cool mode I will, will not explain what's a uh, cool right now but just cancel it now we will add the function to the our main and now we will initialize our vertices Oops. now we will set the first vertex as his position will be new vector 3 will be the center of the world and his color will be red and don't to don't forget to add, to add this uh, 
function to the color to convert it to an integer because the vertex because the parameter should be integer the color so just write to RGB it's actually alpha red green and B it's converting it to an uh, int now the second uh, vertex is position will be uh, five units right to the center of the board and his color will be uh, I don't know blue and we will convert it to an int now the second now the third vertex will be his position will be five units above the center of the board and his color will be I don't know yellow and let's convert it to integer now we are going to add this function to main function and now if you will run it nothing will happen because uh, we didn't uh, draw our scene to render anything mesh model you need to create a scene so let's say to our on paint event uh, the function device dot begin scene and device dot end scene. This will start and end our scene. And now I'm going to teach you a little trick that I invented, how to not be confused from all this and all this shit. So just uh, end this function private void draw and add it between and after begin scene add it between those to begin uh, between those two function begin scene and add scene and now in the draw function let's say the divide we will set our vertex format the direct x will know the our vertex format so type uh, device dot vertex format equals custom vertex dot position color dot format and to draw our triangles type device dot draw user primitives now I usually use triangle list because if I want to add some triangles to my list I just uh, add in the primitive count and here is another trick to the primitive count is how many is how many triangles to render from your array so from your, your array variables so just type vertex dot length it will return the length of your array and put a one third of it it because you know triangle is three vertices I already explained it you don't have to be so smart to know this and then the vertex this is the uh, our vertices now um, and this is all you need to render a triangle now let's debug it and here you go a triangle using the vertex and by the way thank you for all of you who liked the video watched it or subscribed and um, I will put uh, I think in my next video something about the uh, TCP IP so if you want it so you can subscribe and you will see it and I'm also a uh, beginning new project of XNA I probably if uh, there will be a lot of views I will make a big uh, tutorial of creating an FPS game or TPS I still don't know and if you want and if uh, there will be 50 likes or comments on this video I will create a video explaining how to create a terrain yeah this is already something big so thanks for watching and subscribe like comment okay see ya so